For the first time in two years, the Gilroy Garlic Festival is open for business. Two years ago, the festival was cut short after a mass shooting, and then last year it was canceled because of the pandemic. KTVU South Bay reporter Jesse Gary live at the festival where things are different this year. It's a drive through. Jesse, how's it looking? Uh, it looks like I'm in my car, Alex. Happy Friday to you. Live at home, live in my car. What's next? Live on vacation is probably next. Yeah, you know, before you come down to the Garlic Festival, as Alex said, it is a drive through So you're going to be in your vehicle and you want to go to the website on your phone or on your computer and make your order. Order your food day of, and the time of day you want to pick it up. Then you drive down and this is what you're going to see. A line of cars that snakes around the Presbyterian Church. And that line, when you get to the end of it, leads to Gorman Valley. Fire in the hole. Friday, the fires were rekindled for the Gilroy Garlic Festival. We're back. We're excited. You know, the, the thing we've been focused on is making this work. Festival Association President Tom Klein says planning for this year's signature event started last fall when the COVID pandemic was still mandating safety measures. So the festival was moved from Christmas Hill Park to the parking lot of the Presbyterian Church. Any church really should really be the community center of their their community, right? So what better way to have people come and use our facilities and enjoy it with us and be a part of what God's given us. All the traditional staples of the Garlic Festival are here, but attendees must order online in advance, then drive through. Having it right here with an open, almost an open window like that, they can see that, the guys will be reacting to them, talking, so that we we're trying to capture some of that. This festival was cut short two years ago when suspect Santino Legan opened fire, killing three and wounding 12 others. Last year, the COVID pandemic forced the festival's cancellation. This year marks the return of the four decade old annual South Bay event. It's a great example of communities doing for themselves. The sense that you get from being in a locally produced festival is very different from the sense that you get from watching productions of any kind. Local attendee Suzanne Bible brought her grandchildren to experience the new way to see and feel the old festival. I wanted to make sure they got to see what we're trying to do in the effort to try and get it all back, back to as best as it can be what it was. And this is the end of the line. This is Gourmet Alley where the vehicles drive through, pick up their food, and move on. The festival runs from 4 o'clock today, so it literally just open, to 11 o'clock tonight, and then this weekend, 11 to 7, Saturday and Sunday, and it repeats next weekend. So instead of one weekend, two weekends. We're live in Gilroy, Jesse Gary, KTVU, Fox 2 News. I hope my car's still there. We'll head back to you. You better go check on it. Jesse, you also better go check on your order. What'd you, what'd you <laughs> order? What are you getting, man? Uh, I'm taking orders, so you guys got to send me an email so I can, you know, take the order. What, do you, what do you want? Let me know. sounds pretty good, you know. That'll work. No garlic ice cream? What? You know the garlic ice cream? I don't know about that. Jana's a fan, though, she says. <laughs> bring, bring her a All right, one, one fry, one ice cream. All right. All right, it is great to have the Garlic Festival back up and running. Uh, South Bay reporter Jesse Gary, appreciate it. Take care.